Sims? I believe this is th my favorite game I used to play on the toilet in a previous job I didn't like. Uh, turned into a first-person shooter. Explain it to me. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, Danny O'Dwyer. Uh, so basically, uh, it's Plants vs. Zombies turned into a third-person shooter. Look, I just planted that zombie. Uh, so Is that a pun? It, is it? Planted that. Pla planted? I guess planted. It, usually, you know, I like to take nouns and turn them into verbs when they're not actually verbs. But Absolutely. in that case, plant is actually a verb, so okay. it doesn't really work. Doesn't really work. No, not so much. You played a bunch of this on a live stream yesterday. Indeed. And uh, what we played yesterday were the competitive modes. One is basically Team Deathmatch, and the other... Oh my god, you're a horrible abomination. <laughs> uh, the other was like this sort of uh, state, this like progressive conquest mode where like the zombies try to take one garden and the plants try to defend it, and then if they fall, fail, they have to fall back to the next garden. Anyways, there's two competitive modes. This is actually a cooperative mode we're playing. Uh, called Garden Ops. Which is this is the one where you're actually planting plants? Because so I've yeah. heard of that as well. Yeah, so there's a couple different ways you can plant plants. Like, here's here's a plant that has been planted. Yeah. There, and is when he you're smoking four cigarettes? <laughs> that's that was a happening there? Pea shooter. Okay. Uh, yeah. Huffing, the, that's, that's on his downtime. He's <laughs> on right now. Right. But usually that would be the case. So, a lot of familiar plants and zombies, of course, from the mobile. Uh, and non-mobile and pretty much any platform that ever existed. Gotcha. Uh, tower defense original. Uh, this mode is like pretty much tower defense. We are trying to stop these zombies uh, from getting on our lawn. And uh, you can, you, like each each uh, plant that you play as has uh, three abilities. You'll see them there. I've just activated the hyper ability. Uh, how many different classes of plant are there? Like how many four plants and on? four zombies. So this is this is a that was a, like a builder zombie mm. uh you're gonna see a little bit more diverse zombies in this mode than you will in say the team deathmatch mode because only four playable variants gotcha but of course like eh, there's all these customization options you get by unlocking these cards which is why this uh s this chomper over here that i looked at before and said yeah. it was horrible the lava one looks like really cool molten lava instead of just like a regular old purple chomper well, that's not a regular. So problem. are you leveling up your class as you're playing, or is this very much a, you can s swap out, like, if, if you don't like playing as this plant dude, you can just swap to a different plant dude at any stage, like Team Fortress style? You can totally swap to, oh god, oh no. You can totally swap to different plant dudes. I'm going to show you guys one of the other abilities here. This guy can turn into that. Nope, that's friendly. Is he stuck now? Is he a turret? Yeah, so I'm, I'm in turret mode. I'm getting shot by... I don't even know what. I was talking Nobody to Aaron here. Sampson, who was also on the live stream with you yesterday. Yeah. And he was echoing something that I've heard in the comments on GameSpot and across the internet, uh -huh, uh -huh. which is that this game, everyone wrote off straight away from the start because, let's be honest, it looks like a total, you know, marketing money grab, Plants vs. Zombies, first person shooter. It's like, hey guys, let's shoot do this. Well, uh, shooters are popular and we got these yeah. Plants vs. Zombies. Why don't we just put this together? Boom, synergy, uh, it's maximum. Like be Bejeweled, market the RPG is going to come next. Yeah. But he was, he was playing this uh, yeah, with you guys for like three hours. He said there's like a surprising amount of depth, yeah. like metagame to everything that's going on here. Especially when you get into the, the competitive play when you're against the zombies or you're the, you know, you're the plants or you're the zombies. Uh, I'm gonna try to respawn here and uh, be, a, get a, be a different plant. But like, yeah, the different abilities, you know, like this guy's, one's a grenade, one's that plant, uh, one's that root down into a turret, one's a speed mode. But like, this character, the mm. chomper I'm looking at here, can like burrow underground and sneak up on, and what, can like what lie is, and wait. What is that Yeti? That is a, that is a Yeti, a zombie Yeti. So this, these, all these zombies are AI spawned. This is just a wave-based defend from mm. all the zombies mode. Uh, so, oh god. So you're seeing a lot of uh, variants come in that, to make it tougher. Boss zombies, stuff that you will totally be familiar with if you were into PvZ at all, which... Well, it seems like most of the planet most was, of the world. At, considering how much that game is sold. Go down, you horrible monster. Uh, if you have any questions at all, by the way, in the Twitch chat or on GameSpot.com, or I believe also this is the Giant Bomb dudes have put this up on their chat as well. Sweet! Uh, if you have any, please uh, throw them in there and the folks will shoot them on to me and I will ask Chris. Um, what is, tell me about this, is this, is this the type of game that is fun to play because it is a quick diversion and we are all living in a post-Titanfall world where... We're living in a no pre-Titanfall world, or like an interim Titanfall, Titanfall yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. We played the beta, but the actual release is coming. Like, is this the type of game that you would actually go out and use your own hard-earned green 
to like can, can you imagine yourself playing planning. this for more than a weekend is basically what I'm kind of getting at. I'm gonna put a heal flower down here. Do it. Yay. I can actually. I mean, the, the, the leveling up stuff is is not uh, ex sort of extensive in the way that you would expect from like a more uh, you know hardcore popular third person shooter. Oh gosh. Oh no, go away. Unsnap. I've managed. Oh, is the Xbox One being a jerk? I've managed to. This never happens. Get this almost into never happens. Snap type situation. I'm just gonna get out of it. <laughs> we don't even plug quick. in the connect. No, I don't want to do a Netflix. Just go back to Xbox the game. Xbox Bing the Matrix. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's it's having a, a little emotional issue. So in the meantime, uh, so the game's forty bucks, right? Yeah. So it's like your discount level shooter. Sure. What, but you know, there's only two competitive modes proper. Mm. Uh, it's um, it's really fun. I'm, I'm really like I really enjoyed playing it multiplayer this weekend when I was yeah. prepping for the live stream yesterday. Uh, playing as the different classes, like you legit have different strategies and like they're. Their uh, different abilities kind of offset each other in, in some fun ways. Mm. Uh, and then it's just, like, honestly, it's really refreshing to play a game like this that has these kind of third-person shooter mechanics that's not gritty, like, sawing people really? in half, super gory, super, like, I like that, I like that stuff, yeah, for yeah. sure. But, like, why can't, games can be fun, too. Like, they can be, like, whimsical. Like, you can have a sense of humor yeah. about this stuff. You don't need to be super serious. You can still have the kind of balance of action. And, yeah, it's, like, not, you know, it's, it's, it's light in a certain way. Mm. But it's, it's still totally good fun. Do you remember Nerf Arena Blast? On Do the I PC. Nerf Do you remember Arena? that game? No, Danny, I don't it, it remember was Nerf a, Arena Blast. It was a, <laughs> it was a like, Unreal Tournament 1 engine Nerf game mm -hmm. that was, for all intents and purposes, Unreal Tournament. They just changed the names of all the modes and changed all the crazy, disgusting weapons that destroy people into Nerf guns, and it was great. It was because great. it was kind of fun just to play this game and be like, oh, I'm just. Did you have nerfs those arrows jump. that you would like put on the ground and angle up and then like stomp on the thing? No. <laughs> There. Were you one of the rich kids who had Nerf growing no, up? No, but I had cousins that yeah, did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> a best friend down the street who yep. was actually a jerk. They've got like had Nerf. three of those bow things that you crank back. Yeah, the, yeah, totally. Yeah. It's fun. It's pretty sweet. Uh, you had a little bit of trouble hopping onto a multiplayer server. Let's see if you can uh, have any any. Uh, yeah, so this is launch way. day. I mean, the game's out today. The GameSpot review is up. Uh, Carolyn Pettit rated it a 7, which is a very good score. Hmm. And... Uh, yeah, I agree with a lot of her review about it. It's just, you know, like, it it, it kind of puts a smile on your face to, like, try to be in this intense fight. You're like a, a zombie with a little zombie gun, and then you're fighting a sunflower, and yeah, the yeah. sunflower beats you, and it's just, like, going around, like... <laughs> like, like, that's a taunt. Yeah. It's just, like, smiling sunflower. Demented sunflowers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nixter13 in the GameSpot chat uh, asks, how addictive is this game? I remember when Titanfall beta was out, you were... It was one of those games where when you weren't playing it, you were thinking about playing it. Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. there been times where you've wanted to play PVZ, but, or, but you've been stuck doing other Since stuff? when I first played PVZ, mm. which was about 48 hours ago, yep. there have been times when I was not playing that I was like, I could go for a round of PVZ. Mm. But I don't think that, you know, I, I think that it, it, didn't quite, it doesn't quite grab me in the way that something like a Titanfall does. Mm. Uh, just because that one, you know, the, the movement, the speed of the action is... Uh, there's a, it's a there's a broader spectrum of stuff going on, yeah. and so there's more room for strategic stuff, tactical stuff, crazy crap to happen. Mm. This is definitely a more limited spectrum, a bit but uh, yeah. So we're gonna we actually looks like we've managed to get into a match here Hooray! of gardens and graveyards. So uh, I'm playing as a builder zombie, which you'll notice his most prominent and dashing feature immediately, Danny. Is it is it a keg of beer on his? Oh, it's his butt crack. There it is. There you go. Yeah, it's his big old butt. So we have to go capture this point over here. The plants are already out in full force, bombarding us. I'm gonna use my like little grenade launcher action. Are any of these plants or zombies like AI at all? Oh gosh! It, oh, you got stuck the in horror. Tree. No, like, that was cheese 502. Are these all? What's the player count? What are we talking about here? Oh, wow, boom! Okay. Twelve. Yeah. This is like almost. So the max is 24 players. So this looks like it's a 10 v 12 match uh so i'm getting revived you can always be revived uh unless you've been fully devoured by one of those chomper plants uh but in this match the builder has like a pretty so builder can do this thing yeah he can show his butt off yep J it's the extra butt jiggle as right. i like get on here to do uh do a little uh this thing what are those um uh, what are those i'll show you in a second Dan. things i got a bank clear your sectors yep 
These, these plants are defending this point because what is over here is a teleporter. Okay. And that is going to, although these are turrets, so I'm gonna build these up to give myself a little defense. Uh, only the engineer zombie can do this stuff, and the teleporter just basically gives you a little... Uh, it's great automation there. Yep. Just going ahead, straight up build. Just, just yep. Yeah. His cement mixer's turning on his back. So now my buddies can spawn out of here, and it's going to be cool. Uh, that is a cactus. I do, I do not want to... Oh, I can upgrade these things? I did not know that was a thing. There's so much metagame oh, happening God. here. Yo, oh God. It's okay, your buddies have spawned in. No, what the hell the is grenade. that thing? That is was, that a grenade? Yeah, so, well, it's a chili bean. <laughs> it's a chili bean, so that's right. what those guys can barf up. Uh, let's see, I don't want to respawn. I'm going to try to show you guys some different characters here real quick. We got the scientist. And uh, there's my teleport. I'm going to go over here. And now we're going to try to move in on some uh, some plants. The scientist is great for, like, this guy who's, like, a long-range dude. You can mm. just warp, and then he doesn't know I'm behind him, and boom, ba boom Great. Shotgun on the crap out Spit of it. Spit roast, right from behind. Yeah, yeah. I like it. And so now I'm, like, actually behind the capture point coming in, which means I might be flanked by some spawning zombies. But... And I'm actually going to heal myself up. Well, All right. no, I should probably do that in let's, here. Let's, let's draw it right there. Come on, man. I'm doing my, I'm doing my heal. I'm doing the capture. This is, this is I've seen enough action. of Plants vs. Zombies, Chris Oh, Waters. I got chomped. There you go. Done. Oh, the horror. That's Plants vs. Zombies. We're playing on the Xbox Unrevivable. One. Unrevivable.